I want everybody listening to know that that's a seven up because legally we cannot open a beer in a bar. And I'm dry. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I have right here? I'm not even going to do mouth sounds, so don't worry about it. But I do have a fine Pilsner beer, so pardon me for just a second. Ah, a delight. <laughs> so we're here at the happiest place on earth, the Walt Walt Disney. Disney. No. <laughs> So At the Oasis, the I, Oasis Tavern, yes, technically. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I saw. I asked a few people right before we started. We've got a few newbies here. As I said once again, you're welcome. This is the best bar in Chicago. Secondly, um, a few things to know. Number one, your bartender's name is Michelle. She's amazing. Be nice to her and give her all the tips. Also, secret, come over here, away from Michelle. <laughs> If you are a Green Bay Packers fan, keep it to your fucking self today, okay? <laughs> Don't say it in front of her. That's real. That's okay. real. And also something, Allison, I learned something today about the O that I did not know. Ooh, what? I was going to make a bit about how if you went to the women's bathroom, you needed to hold the handle down until it glugged. Mm-hmm. But Michelle said that it hasn't been that way in a year. What? I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I reacted. She said it, and I was like, what the fuck? I've been holding that shit down. That's probably at least 30 minutes of my life I could have gotten back. <laughs> I mean, I'm really glad. Moving on up. What's that ringing sound? That's just that. It's it's that. It's amp. us just dealing with the fact that we have a live audience. Ah! <laughs> All right, I'm just going to stay back from the mic, right? You're good. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get us so we're like leveled up and okay. they can hear us and we can be drunk and crazy yeah. and, yeah, sounds and weird roll some dye and like so yeah. eat this some is cookies. my oh, favorite bar in the city, maybe my favorite bar in the world. Uh, it, as you can see, is very no frills, <laughs> but it has the best bartenders in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, if somebody, here's what it's like when somebody fucks with you at the Oasis. You go, April! And she goes, knock it off! And then they do because they're afraid of April. (laughs) And nobody would fuck with you in front of Michelle because they just wouldn't. That would be disrespectful. (laughs) This is an institution right here. Um, My very favorite thing about the Oasis, though, is that, look look at the lovely face of Michelle over here. Look at this nice lady. She has the foulest mouth of anyone I've ever met. Michelle, what's in the swear jar for this football season? $226. We've got one TV with Ben buying the second. That is amazing. So if you need a place to watch the Super Bowl, this is a great place to watch it. And the bar is so good that it'll make you forget about the corrupt institution. (laughs) Maybe. Well, no, not really, because I have to look at Tom Brady's stupid cheater face. Again. I straight up wrote our fantasy into a What's On Tonight for the AV Club. The chapstick? It's a, the chat, I did, hold on. Do we still have it open? No, I closed it. It was like the chapstick, and I think maybe he gets a blister. And then there was one other like really man- mundane one. I should have done a paper cut under your fingernail. Mm-hmm. Julie and I like to fantasize about Tom Brady having everyday mishaps that would just happen to him because... He has He's bad karma, yeah. but also because you can't avoid those things. But our favorite is you get on a like a five hour flight and you realize you don't have chapstick, no lip stuff. Oh, and there's God. nothing you can do. It's for, a nightmare. If you, even if you're Tom Brady, <laughs> no. it's not like the airplane sells chapstick. Well, you could cheat your way to a tube. Oh, or nine. Oh, oh. That was a little football humor there, young. <laughs> It's good. Okay, okay. Now, anyway. now let's move on to the second part of the bit. Once again, I, remind, I was reminded that we could not legally open the beers on the mic. So Allison, sitting right next to her, has a tall boy of Miller Lite. You guys, she hasn't had a drink in over 30 days. It's happening right now. And somehow my first drink is going to be a Miller Lite. <laughs> it's appropriate. It is appropriate. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. God. Okay. I need to stop for a minute because what I actually want to do is a spit take, but there's equipment. Please yeah, don't. don't. So don't pretend do in my head that. that what I'm going to do is drink it and then do a spit take. And in reality, I'm just going to drink it. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Man. Oh, oh. Right. No, it's good. That's a fine Pilsner beer. We haven't really done the Miller Lite in a while. No, but I can fucking pound five of these in 30 minutes, so let's get to it. <laughs> Am I going to have an easier... I think I'm actually going to have an easier time without my headphones. Good I can hear myself better without these. Yeah, I think... I don't know why they're you not... You know what? I can't hear very much. Are we, we... Are we... Be, we're sure we're it's recording correctly, it. though? I'm looking at it. Okay. <laughs> 
I haven't, <laughs> God. I haven't done this in a while. Julie's so, been doing it, but it looks right. Not been, <laughs> has anybody not been to one of these live shows before? Those sitting over here? Yeah, a couple people. So we have a very special routine that you will have heard if you've listened to them, but that you wouldn't have seen with your human eyes, <laughs> which is that we take Julie's uh, ball sack dice bag, Specially made for her by our friend Zach Webb. Um, and uh, for, and the, for the folks at home, it is a chainmail dice bag shaped like, like a, a dangling pair of testicles. Like a ball sack. And then I've got to scatter my seed. <laughs> he recently, the, the dice bag, got kicked in the urethra really hard. <laughs> Are you okay, Julie? <laughs> I've been that, having a barf thing recently. <laughs> oh, well, it's that's no good. fun. Is no. it the state of the world? No, it's those Birdie Bot's beans. I keep thinking about them. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, they're disgusting. It's horrible. Okay, 20 sided die ago. at the ready. Okay, so we have a bunch of individual categories. And if we move through the categories in rapid order, maybe we'll take suggestions. Sure. Because one thing that we realized is that. Well, there's a lot of good stuff this season. We found the fewer things we wanted to put on most of these categories than we usually do. Except for supporting actor. Yeah. That one was more Ste- hard. The bench more is harder. real deep this year. <laughs> more really real deep. Bench, real yeah. deep. Real deep. More harder. Um, oh, you know what? We missed a really important one and done. Get it in there, then. Open it. <laughs> open with it. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So our first category is one and done, and this is for somebody who shows up once we're bending the rules a little bit maybe twice but very it's briefly. like you see them but then they don't really have anything to do and then they actually play a more important role um so here are the 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 pinch hitters the uh, previous winners of this category include hot pess lady <laughs> and uh, some other people but she's really the reason for the season she's the standard bearer um hot pess clear mm-hmm. uh so first we have rufus Played by Jerome Holder in episode two, Do No Harm. Mm-hmm. He was the um, slave that had been injured that Claire operated on. Yeah, straight mm-hmm. up killed it. Yeah. Really good performance. Uh, second, Adewehi. Uh, played by Tantu Cardinal. She's the um, kind of elder woman of the Cherokee tribe that's by Fraser's Ridge. She shows up in one episode and then briefly shows up in another episode, but I thought that she was so good she deserved to be here. Yeah, she's she's the one who teaches Claire how to say bunny and bird and <laughs> bee. Hope. And Hope. Bee. And medicine. And bunny. Again. Bunny. <laughs> and man in bear suit. Um <laughs> All right, Julie, who's next? Uh, pipe smoke up the ass doctor guy in the hernia surgery scene. I had completely forgotten about this dude until this morning, and I just didn't even take the time to go look up his name because he has, like, two lines. But I do remember pipe smoke up the ass. <laughs> and that's memorable, so I think he belongs in this it category. It is very memorable. Mm-hmm. Uh, next, who's next? Um, your favorite hobbit, Billy Boyd, is Gerald Forbes in the episode where he was going to get married to Brianna, but then was sorely disappointed by the entrance of one Lord John Gray. <laughs> I will say, it, this. I was thinking about this scene in relation to another category, and one of my mo- the purest giggles I had this season was the crestfallen look on Billy Boyd's face oh. throughout that episode. Like, every five minutes he'd be like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's the look of a man who knows he's not going to get second breakfast. Is what it is. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, next is Father Sting slash Father <laughs> Alexandre Ferrigo slash Jan Tall. Mm-hmm. That's his name. In Providence. That's his proper, that's his Jan Christian Tall name. Is his real Y'all, name. I, we're relaunching the TV podcast that I did as something else. It's called Hall of Faces, and it's uh, we just pick one character from a TV show and elect it to a thing. It's going to be monthly, and it'll be fun, and eventually we'll do Outlander, and it'll be Frank. And um, <laughs> forever. <laughs> I'll make some more Outlander beauties really mad. Ooh. Um, but uh, when we were talking about this, I was defending Kenneth the Page, and I had forgotten that Kenneth the Page Christian name is actually on Kenna Wanta Badin Bong Do D D blah 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 something with like ninety seven syllables in it um, that has <laughs> Kenneth in the middle. Ellen Parcel, <laughs> and made me laugh really hard. Uh, that's, he, that's a fucked up character. Anyway, and then the last one in this category is Joheen, um, who is the woman that throws herself on the fire with Father Sting. Um, she's just in that one episode. She had a big impact. I really thought she was quite good. I wish she hadn't had to do that cliched fucking throw herself on the fire thing. But, you know, whatever. We can't all get what we want. Right, Outlander fans? No. <laughs> uh, I have to say, I didn't realize until uh, this week 
<laughs> how mad people were about that episode. I thought that episode was great. Like, had qualms, specifically had some musical qualms. But I don't everyone was like, why are they spending so much time on characters? <laughs> because it's a television show? Like you want it to be all Claire and Jamie all the time because yes. nothing will happen. It will just be Outlander. In this episode, Jamie teaches Claire to cluck it. And that's the end of the episode. In this episode, the two sit in the cabin at Fraser's Ridge next to the fireplace with a nice bottle of port and do the New York Times crossword puzzle. <laughs> like that's all they want. In this episode, a real-time recreation of how long it took to build that fucking pottery barn house. <laughs> It's good news, fans. The show is now 52 seasons long. <laughs> Each and one representing a year. Boring, but every once in a while, they have sex. Yeah, and that's all they want. And I mean, that would be an improvement, but that's the only part of it that would be an improvement. Anyway, people are really mad at those two actors who I think did so well mm -hmm. because somehow it's like Roger could have just talked to himself, I guess. And like he could have, it could have been Roger is in the idiot hut, a one man show, which now that I say I that, would I would that. buy that ticket I would immediately. Watch that. But it would have to be very different. Then Roger, it would be like, it would be Roger and what is the name of the fucking coconut? Coco. Coco of course. Get it, it together, would be Shoemaker. Roger and Coco, only it would have to be a pine cone. So I guess pie, <laughs> pie co, right? He'd be sitting, he'd be like, Piney, you edget. Why are you in this edget hut? And the pine cone would go, oh, no, no, Roger. <laughs> and that's how that would be it. Like a real Wilson moment. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I can only improve upon this with one thing. Okay. In my mind, I see Piney. Does he have googly eyes? Yeah, of course. Okay, thank yes. God. Thank yes. God. Duh. Thank God. I, and there's one that's a little bit lazy. <laughs> one that doesn't move. Yeah. The other one. Stuck. The other one moves, stuck. and this is just stuck. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. All okay, right. let's roll the dice. Rufus, will you put him in here? Gets an 18. Out of way, he gets a five. Too low. Pipe smoke up the ass doctor guy from the hernia scene gets a six. I was really Somehow hoping that's that was right. a natural 20. <laughs> Billy Boyd gets a seven. Father Sting gets a field of gold, gets a two. <laughs> because it was too much to handle. <laughs> too hot. Oh, oh get I it? see what you did. Joheen gets 17. All right. We're gonna give it to Rufus. Good job, Rufus. Good job, Rufus. That's the right call. Played That's by right Jerome call. Holder with a beautiful monologue. That you know, the show is still really struggling with issues of race and culture broadly. Um, although <laughs> I think like getting better. Um, Mr. Willoughby, oddly, is somehow still the high standard, which is <laughs> oh, bizarre. Um, but I feel like. I'm getting back. I th I'm hoping. Well, no, I can't actually say that without spoiling people. Don't no spoilers. All right, here we go. I also, there's somebody in the audience. Yeah. Who doesn't know what happens in the last episode with regard to our our favorite person? Oh well, too bad. Oh, you yeah. are gonna. You're gonna be spoiled, and I cannot. <laughs> we can't help you. Wait. It's happening. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my God! You li listen. Sorry. I'm sorry, I need to stay home from work, y'all. No, work this week. No, it's great. It's I've never been so excited to spoil something because people are going to be able to hear you, hear it. They're, they're going to hear you get spoiled, and then it's going to become a vine or something. <laughs> It's going to be so good. I okay. miss fine. All right, the next category is best scene image, and then in italics next to it, I wrote, what a fucking sausage fest. I was trying to think if there was something else. Because they didn't come up with any gals, except for you Brianna being in the father and child reunion. I got, I got one. I got one. Okay, well, the first one we have is Murtaugh's Bill Nye entrance, where he's from the back, and the camera zooms in on him, and he still doesn't turn around, and then he turns around. That shit's golden, and it works every fucking time. <laughs> so, filmmakers, I am making fun of you right now, but I'm also saying please keep doing it. It's awesome. What? Sorry? Uh, when he, the back, the Bill <laughs> Nye entrance, oh, yeah. where it's the camera from behind, and he never turns around until the slow, like, whiff oh, like so this. Good. I fucking love that shit. Yep. All right. The second one is father and child reunion when oh. Sam reaches out with his pee hand and touches his daughter. <laughs> face. But you know what? He At can least be forgiven. That's true to the books. 
Yeah. That's really in keeping with the spirit of the book. <laughs> I'm so it's, it's all right. We, we really need to make sure that we do exactly what's in Ugh. the book. So mercifully, we still got those urine droplets Ugh. on that pristine white cheek. Barf. And this, right. uh, this episode is brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service. So <laughs> planting trees wherever we go. Yes, baby <laughs> trees. Uh, baby trees of plenty. <laughs> all right. And then we've got Roger's Egypt monologue. That shit was fire. Oh, it was so good. In an episode about fire. Uh, and it I've was got, even hotter than the other fire. And I've got a lady moment. Oh, good. Uh, I've got <laughs> Jocasta goes full starboard, uh, and it is when Jocasta chucks a glass of whiskey into the face <laughs> of another character. We're gonna we're gonna keep that in the. That's just a teaser. It's a little teaser. Of I have been to known to throw a drink in a face. I have been known. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, hold on, I need ten seconds to relive you throwing a drink in your own face. Hold on. <laughs> I did that. That's the stuff. I did do that. All right, here we go. Murtaugh's Bill Nye entrance gets an 11. You know what? Julie, pause for just a second. Yeah. Did we miss anything, y'all? What's this category? Best I, scene or image. I like, feel or, like... Like, yay! Like you stood up from the couch and you did this. We've got the two reunions. We've got the Egypt monologue. I liked uh, uh, Maisley getting out there with a wagon. Oh, that was pretty good. The heist. The she heist. Was yeah, she was a badass in that scene. Yeah, all <laughs> right. She what? Yeah, she was like, fucking get in. I'm going. Fuck so, yeah. Claire, what? The jump off the wagon. Oh, Fer- Fergus. Remember oh, when he does yeah. the, like, badass, like. Yeah. yeah. Okay, get yeah. that in. Get the wagon heist. Heist! <laughs> it just says heist. Okay. okay. So, Murtaugh's Bill Nye entrance gets a 10. Father and child reunion gets a not, uh, six. Sorry. Roger's Egypt monologue. It's a one. <gasps> well, Rude. no, wait. But Roger is a rogue now, so he's got what's it fucking called? Trickster luck. So if he rolls a natural one, he can re-roll. <laughs> Does it require any of the other D and D dice, DMs or just no? Just just roll a twenty. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. A nine. Okay, okay, fine, okay. fine. Oh, I haven't been writing these down. That's okay. <laughs> uh, this was a, this, ten. I knew this was a six. Murtaugh was ten. And then that's a nine. Well, and plus he's got plus ten stealth. So nineteen? So nineteen. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Jocasta goes full starboard. <clears throat> Eight. Seems right. <laughs> Heist. Seven. Low. Lucky number seven, though. All right, but I'm I'm happy to give this to Roger's idiot monologue. It was so good. He's I mean, really a good obviously actor. we are blatantly cheating. We're <laughs> we're going full Tom Brady. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm no, well. To be fair, full Belichick. Okay, we're going supported full by, Belichick. Supported by Tom Brady. Um, we're going full Allison when she plays D and D. Just kidding, <laughs> not really. Um, but that was just so fucking good, right? And somehow He's people good. are mad about that. I don't, I don't understand that. I don't care if they're mad about Does it. Does anyone strenuously object? Sweet. Good. Good. And for me, it's really close between that and the, reu- the Brie and Jamie reunion. That moment was great, and I'm going to come back to it later because I have a oh, yeah. big um, thing to say. Yeah. Later. All right, now we this... We never added... We never added my thing to the other one. We'll add it here. We're adding one more supporting. Okay. We've got a lot of supporting performances this season, y'all, because there are a lot. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's, you know what? You write. I know I'm right. All right. So number one is Angie Costa. Yes. yes. Maria Doyle Kennedy, you Who's are fierce. Who's a and Black fan? Anybody? Yeah. yeah. She's so good. She's so good. Um, second, also, a, a pretty great singer. Really? Yeah. Go That's check awesome. out her music. She does folk music. No. Second, shit. Murta Fitzgibbons. Oh. Doy. Doy. Thank God he's back. God, he just lifts every scene he's in. He just picks it up out of a turd puddle and just... Puts a little shine on it. Sends it out into the world. Um, L, J, G, Lord, John, Gray, the coin face. My favorite. He's so good. You skipped one, though, girl. I'll go back. Okay. Granoli. (laughs) Or Marsley. We call her Granoli now. Wien. I love him. Um, Keheraton, the um, Mohawk younger man that is part of the trip and then was part of it. He's part of it. And then Tobias. 
<laughs> we said we just got added. in the one and done, but that doesn't even seem fair. Yeah. So I wonder, maybe maybe this is wrong. Maybe he should be in an emeritus position. Yes, you're right. Because, because like, he won everything last season. Every year. Last season, he just won everything because we yeah. hated last season so much, we just gave him like the best of everything last season. We're just like, you're, you're the, best, the best, the best, <laughs> the best. No, God, I'm yeah. not. I got a abandoning ship on that joke. All right, here we go. And Jocasta. <laughs> you know I hate a boat. That was a really good uh, Aunt Jocasta. Thanks, mm. I'm with you. Aunt Jocasta gets a three fuck no re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. She's but it, Did she have any, any plus skills? Um intuition. Would she get a pl- plus two D fours? Yeah, plus two D fours. Uh plus four. So that's thirteen. 13. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Murtaugh, natural 20. Just put it down. <laughs> 17. 17. 17. That seems all right. All right. Granoli slash Marsley. 20. Natural fucking 20. You know what? Marsley that is. would happen to Marsley. It would. <laughs> that would happen to Granoli. Yeah, it she's would. She's just, she's got that something. She does. I she's, love her. She really is. Remember we hated her and now we love her? Well, no, we hated her mom. Yeah. Even I, though the actress was good. Yeah. I have... Complicated feelings about poor old Leary. Leary, but, well, uh, born in a time when she didn't have advantages and I, I think couldn't that learn things. I wish <laughs> that Nell Hudson had some better writing to deal with. Yes. Because I still, like, I was trying to think about moments where I was like, ugh. And one of them was in season two, in the Leary episode in season two, where it ends with, and you love. Yes, and, and you love. love. And they, oh. No. Um, I would like to thank whoever on the Slack channel did the research to find out what Boobgate is. Yes, Boobgate. Are y'all familiar with Boobgate? No. There are people who've been mad since season one. I think that's like episode four. It's early. Because Jamie touches Leary's boob. Boobgate. People are still talking about Boobgate. That's not a gate. That's not a gate. And he barely grazes it, and then it's like, oh, uh, no. Well, and also, she took she, it. She did and it. And then, like, and also, what? I mean, he was making out with her. It's did true. Did you think that he wasn't, like, like right. palm in a handful? Come yes. on. <laughs> it's right there. Because it's just like, come on. So, boo gate is dumb, y'all, just saying. All right, that's a 20 for granoli. LJG, 40. <gasps> Natural okay. 20. We're going to have a roll off. We're going to have a roll off. Um, three for Wien. Oh. Too low. Well, he he is, you know what? He got. He's through. a bard. He got all of his luck in running that gauntlet. He doesn't have any left for our, our Fine. measly awards. You're right, you're he right. He used it all. He used it all. Kaharaton, seven. Tobias, 3,000. Emeritus position. <laughs> yeah, Emeritus. Okay, and roll off. And the Tobias Menzies Award for Best Supporting Performance goes, goes to, to Tobias Menzies. Roll off, roll off, All right, here we go. Ro- Granoli, 12. LJG, 14. All right. Just like a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rollo, oh. I think Rollo is also maybe emeritus position. Well, you know what? No, I've got it. Next category. Because he's a good boy Best and the only good dog. Boy. <laughs> Best good boy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sticking with all caps. Best good boy. Oh. Yep, is Rollo. Doi. 14 out of 10 would award again. Yes, yes. <laughs> 14 out of 10. Um, all right, so Lord John Gray. Lord John Gray wins Fewer Best appearances, supporting. maybe the worst line of dialogue of the season. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. But he really came close to making it work. And that, fuck it, the whole scene, the, the whole proposal scene, when which he could made, be so gross, and it really was well handled. When he made the entrance into that room, though, oh, oh we'll I, forgave him, that. I forgave him everything. That's coming up. All right, here we go. Worst scene. No, best good boy. Oh, Rollo, 14 out of 10, would award again. We got a roll, though. Well, oh, look, it's 14 out of 10. <laughs> it's a 15. It was a 15. Yeah, but still, 14. <laughs> 15 out of 10, would award again. Yeah. Yes. He's a very good boy. He's so pretty, too, and very well trained. I wonder if we'll ever see him again. My answer to that is, Probably. <laughs> I don't know. One each, like boom, 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 boom. For this one. Here we go, you guys. Here comes our favorite category. 
<laughs> yes. Five nominees. In worst scene Julie, slash image. One, two, three, five. Okay. Okay. Guy dressed as bear. <laughs> That's one, right? That's one. Number two. Man dressed as bear. <laughs> <laughs> really that. Number three. Dude dressed as bear. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Green screen apocalypse. <laughs> Number five, bear dude. <laughs> All right, guy dressed as bear. I'm going to laugh so hard if green screen wins. Okay, we're only going to roll twice, though, because it's clear what we... Um, guy dressed as bear gets 17. Oh, it pains me to say it. That's a high roll. Um, eight for green screen. Guy dressed as bear wins the worst ever. <laughs> It was so stupid. You know, y'all. we're sort of the cheese that stands alone on that, but I'm fine with it. I'm, I just I thought it was it. so cheesy. Like he, you know what? He's seven foot six inches. He was a like the hottest virgin <laughs> in the history of hot virgins. I'm really sorry, Colton from The Bachelor. This is the real deal. He just, like leaps out onto things and over things, and he hides in things, and he survives things, and he can bring a woman to climax by stimulating her clitoris in less than three minutes, and like, like and, ninety seconds. Like ninety though. seconds. Like, let's not bring that any lower. And that's fantasy. We can't also have him fight a bear with come a on. fish. Come like, on. Come on. Why I'm not? not. Let's. Well, I'm fine with the absurdity. Mm-hmm. I like. There are other things I would change. And I was not looking forward to that scene, but in hindsight, maybe maybe we could just have that one. Yeah. Maybe maybe then Claire could be like, "Hey, bear killer, forever." <laughs> and then there would have been more jokes this season. She would have been like, you know, "And maybe really we're weird. doing it." I I feel like there's a bear in my pants, and then I'm like, <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, they could well, role play it. Guy dressed as bear. <laughs> Wins and we all lose. Uh, also, in my head, the guy dressed as the bear is Nick Frost. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I just realized that I've been picturing Nick Frost when I picture the guy dressed as the bear since I saw it, and I'm realizing it in this moment. Maybe that's what is really turning you off, I mean, other than the fact that it was ridiculous and No, I like cheesy. Nick Frost. Okay. I like Nick Frost, right. okay. Also, yesterday while we were recording the 30 Rock pod, I realized in the middle of a sentence that Matt Damon's character, Carol Burnett, is a Carol Burnett joke, and I oh, realized yeah. it live. Oh! <laughs> Guys, I realized it live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. It's time for Julie to face up to a certain fact. We're moving into the best lead actor category, and for my first nominee, Sam Hewen. You guys, I know, it's the end of an era. (laughs) He's been nominated. Uh, But not by me. (laughs) This season, he really took a, like, giant step up. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if he's been doing off-season coaching while he's doing all his box squats or what. <laughs> but he, is, he just really is so much Here's better. Here's what it is. He has, you know those ropes, the squiggle ropes? Oh, yeah. He has the squiggle ropes, and he goes, to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrage. Or I mean, but that would, would that make you better or just faster? <laughs> better. Okay. Hamlet. All right, so Sam Hewen. Finally, well deserved. I hope you win this time. Although you are up against some good people. You're up I want to say Richard one more Rankin. thing about Sam, though. The thing that most is most impressive to me is that you could try to pick, like you could ask a room full of I don't know, say Outlander fans, what Jamie's best scene was this season, and you'd have more than one. You would have more than one, maybe for the first time. Yes. Although, although in season one, there were a couple of really good ones, but they were all also at a like. A slightly lower level. And yes. that's an outlier yes. because of Wentworth and whatever. Right. But this season, I feel like lots of little quiet moments that are just beautiful. Dope. Well done. Not overplayed. Subtle. Good the job. Lip trembling. A lot of lip trembling. A lot of very stoic eyes, but you can feel the emotion beneath. Some really good side eye and not yes. just the yes. Sam Hewen side eye. Where he says a thing, he says a thing, he says a thing, and then he looks. Not just that. Not like just that. Like other side eye. Very my, good. my favorite was on Jocasta and Martok. Oh, yeah, where he's like, like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Yep. All right. Second um, nominee in Best Lead Actor, Doy Richard Rankin. Yeah. Come on, y'all. He's uh, real good. I appreciate that he played all of the shitty stuff 
like he's being shitty too. He didn't try to play Roger like a romantic hero in those scenes. Right. He was he being was, shitty. He was like sad really and shitty. angry and shitty and because yeah. the situation was that, shitty. Egypt hut. And also, why did he come back? He could have gone back to the future and then come back again. Well, I don't know. So I mean, it 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 does take an enormous toll on you. Yes, that's and what I figured. He only had the two stones, so if he went through, I mean, I guess he'd have to like. Hobble to a hospital. <laughs> explain. No, 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 no. Just run out into the street. <laughs> what? Who won? Who won? Who won the American Revolution? You'll get picked uh, up by um, a natty gentleman. So then, well, he'll end up in an insane asylum. Yes. And then uh, he'd have to get his foot ha- handled, and he'd have to get his arm handled, and then he'd have to have money. Right. Then he'd have to go to a jeweler. Then he'd have to be like, No, I just want the diamonds. I don't <laughs> want them in a ring. And then he'd have to take the. And then he'd have to go back to, the, and then he'd have to go back through, and then he'd have to not get killed again, if he decided he wanted to be so back with Brianna. So might as well just stay in the cell hall. Yeah, I mean, it does lend itself to a very fatalistic worldview, which is what he does go to. Uh, that shower fantasy oh, was yes. real good. It was good. Also, really made me want to shower. It was <laughs> like it looks like a really nice shower. Mm-hmm. It, all the steam rising up. Yep, it was good. Mm-hmm. All right, and then Katrina. She's good. She, weirdly, it seems to me like, maybe it's just been the last couple of episodes, but she hasn't had quite as much. Maybe mm-hmm. she was a little bit more earlier on in the season, which is easy to forget. Like that one episode where she was alone at Fraser's Ridge. Oh, yeah, great. She was great in that episode. So I, she deserves it, too. Well, so. also, there was, um, is it this season where she has to go tramping through the woods because he has to survive under a tree? Because he got lost and fell down a cliff? No? Yeah, I don't yeah, think that happened. happened in the show, too. No. It didn't? No. Mm-mm. I dreamed it? Yeah, but... And then there's, like, people but she, and she, she and does go through the woods by herself, and that's where she sees Otter Tooth. Yeah, there's the right, Otter Tooth. Right, she's by herself, but not that's trying to one. The save Otter Tooth him. episode is good. The, the one... Um, with the cholera doll, the yeah, that's the one where she's doll. when she's that's alone good. in the cabin. Yeah, she. I mean, it, it's just a lot of her stuff was near the beginning, and then yeah. they had a lot of Brie and Roger to do, right? Which is in the books, and that's <laughs> fine because I enjoy watching Richard Rankin. You know what else I enjoy about Richard Rankin? I don't even fucking look at Twitter anymore, but thanks to our Slack channel, I get to see his sweet troll game. Oh yes, yes. he is so funny. He is so funny. Oh, God, I love him. Okay, here we go. Sam He's Ewing. the second best troll after Daddy. Oh, Daddy's, Daddy's the number best one troll. troll. All right, number uh, five for Sam. Oh, we didn't. No, honey, we missed one. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have one last nominee. And I put this too. I want to read Julie's exact quote because she typed this up for us. Here's the second half of what she wrote. As I live and breathe, I never thought I would be typing this sentence under this category. Can we guess who it is? Yes. Yeah, Sophie Skelton, yes. who is still struggling with the accent a little. She's particularly bad Better. at whys in the middle of words. Anyway, anyway, she says, mm-hmm. anyway, every day, shit like that. Um, but accent's getting better. Yes, way better. She's chilled a little. Yes. But Brianna's also had a lot of silent time yes. this season, and when she doesn't have any lines, she's very upsetting. And the... Um, you don't get to be more angry than me right now. Yeah. That was really great. Yeah. So, Sophie, good job. With bonus points for putting up with Lizzie's big, fat fucking mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn it, Lizzie. Keep your trap shut. All right, here we go. <laughs> Sam. Sam gets a 10. That's better. He is a perfect 10. Well, we'll save it. I have thoughts on that. Okay. On what that 10 signifies. Okay, Richard Rankin. 18. Seems right. That does seem right. Katrina Balfe. 19. <gasps> Sisters are doing it for themselves. <laughs> Sophie Skelton. Mm, six. That's that also fine. seems right. So I, I have a question about them. <laughs> it really is an honor just to be nominated. It, it should, <laughs> yes. After the way we treated her for two years. I promise this isn't just because she was so charming it was a No, she's way better this season. She, she is, is so much better this season. Which we predicted. Yes, we Like did. geniuses. We did. Mm. Um, like time travelers. So... Today happens to also be today, this day, this very day. February the 2nd. February the 2nd. Is Groundhog Day is and? the 10th anniversary of RuPaul's Drag Race. What? <laughs> I miss, and so I have to submit this for your consideration. Okay. Did Sam Huon get a 10 
or did he get tens, 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 tens across, across the board? <laughs> because I'm fine with this 18, but it's, you know what? I feel like maybe Sam got tens, tens, tens across the board because we weren't prepared for him to affect us in the way that he did. We were prepared for Richard to be that good. Yeah, we've seen Richard come. Yeah, we were, <laughs> I don't think I was prepared for Sam to be as good as he was in the quiet moments, like when he met her mm-hmm. or when he, uh, when Ian stayed with the Mohawk. At, like, he, tens, tens, tens across the board. And then maybe also Richard got... 118 and 112 across the board, and then it's a tie? Yes, all okay, right. Cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, most shocking moment. Um, Roger's heel turn in The False oh. Bride. What the fuck was that, y'all? And some of that, I'm sure, is like a modern lens, but yeah, really shitty. And, so, and also so surprising. totally illogical. Like, you want to have sex with me, and I want to marry you, so if you don't marry me, we can't have sex. Tell me. Like, what? You, she could also just not marry you and you could, if you're that desperate to not have sex, there are ways. <laughs> like, you have options. It doesn't mean it's the, for, for a history professor. <laughs> you're not very smart. All right, so Roger's heel turn is shocking. You know what else is shocking? How hard Jamie beats the shit out of Roger. Just, and I, um, in the banks, it's like a fight. Roger fights back, right? No. He's like, no, bah! And he tries to get a punch, and he still gets the crap beat out of him. But he gets a few in because he's so mad. No, here it's like, Just good night, bam. bam. Straight pummeling. <laughs> Just like, bam. It good turn, night. Turning his face into hamburger, it was just rough. Like, mm-hmm. I wasn't expecting it to be so, like, mm, brutal. Yeah. All right. Lord John's proposal was also a little bit shocking. Even though she had already proposed to him when he came through that door, mm-hmm. like all... Prince Charming. I was like, oh, yes. And then when he said it, I was like, and then Billy Boyd went, hmm. <laughs> well. Oh, well. Where's Pippin? <laughs> no, he is Pippin. He is Pippin. The other one's Mary. Mary. Where's Mary? And then bringing whiskey to the fucking barbecue. I love that that's the way you put it. <laughs> that Roger getting out and running down that road and then turning back, as we all knew he would, because we've all seen a fucking television show before, but picking up that whiskey... And just letting, ooh. That I was, was surprised. Um, I, I agree with Allison that I did not like the musical choice of Adagio for strings, but quibble. All right, um, Roger's heel turn. 15. You know what? You know what? I, I will say this yeah. for Adagio for strings. At least it wasn't the Jeff Buckley cover of Hallelujah. Yes! <laughs> yes! And I love that song, but can you imagine? Oh my god! And I would have turned it so off. Much more on I the nose. I would have stood up, turned it off, looked at you, and said, "Get the fuck out of my house!" <laughs> and then I never would have watched this show again. A secret chord. No. That da- and then he picks up the barrel that David played, and it pleased the Lord. But no. you don't barf. Okay. How hard Jamie beats Roger is a seven. <coughs> Lord John's proposal is a ten. Ten. Ten's across the board. Mm. Bringing whiskey to the fucking barbecue is a six. All right, Lord John's proposal. No, wait, sorry, Roger's heel turn. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that, too. It's He's even more of a dick than he is in the books, which is really saying something. Yeah. It's really like a very... It just it's felt a, like it came out of fucking nowhere, too. Move. Just like, sh- oh, okay, now you killed my boner. I'm done. All right, here we go. This is one of my favorite categories. We call it Tim Gunning It or Making It Work. First. Uh, this is Jamie fighting... A gentleman clothed in the guise of a large bear. <laughs> like it was serious. Like it was yeah. real. No, like it. He wasn't like, oh, oh holy shit. What and the then he fuck is like, this guy? We've been, we, 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 it would have been very different if it had been that. If yeah, he's fighting a guy that dressed music? as a bear. If they had used that music, I might have liked it. Me too. I'm just saying, because it would have been you know leaning what? into the ridiculousness At least it wasn't Jeff Buckley's Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two is um, <laughs> Joheen throwing herself on that damn fa- fire with Father Sting, even though we saw it coming from a mile away and really hoped it wasn't going to go down like that because it was so fucking cliche. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I hated it. Uh, you do the next one because I have one addition. That okay, I make. Lieutenant Wolf. And his exquisitely expressive eyebrows. <laughs> oh, just like how many lines do I have? Three. I got this. I got That's this. Fine. No problem. People That's are fine. gonna remember my name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The very fame moment. Mm-hmm. Irene Cara. <laughs> 
Uh, the last one. Everybody who had to be on one of those goddamn boats. Oh. Being like, look at the outdoors. And it's the green so screen. It's so beautiful out here in the outdoors. Like that. Oh, I'm so cold. Now I'm so hot. Like that. Because mm-hmm. that was some bad Green Boat screen. shit. Yeah. Really bad green okay. screen. Okay. Um, Jamie fighting the bear dude and making it look like he cared. 15. <laughs> Joheen and the barbecue. 18. I support that. Uh, Lieutenant Wolf and his eyebrows. Six times two, because two eyebrows, 12. <laughs> <laughs> and then boat acting. 15. All right. So, Joheen. I, I support that one. Me too. All right. Now, I didn't come up with any of these. Allison, please tell, me. run us through all your Julie sickest burns. Julie had a hard time coming up with sick burns, mostly because there was not enough Fergus, yes. and Lord John Gray didn't have to say anything shitty to an under-officer. Yeah. <laughs> Le- um, Lieutenant Leonard. No, for, not very much Fergus. Uh, absolutely no, um, oh, my God, those coats. Oh, fucking Simon Callow, Lord Sandringham. Sandringham, Duke thank Sandringham. you. Thank you. Um, hold on. We forget. I need some it's more of Ah, brain juice. Um, and then, no, for whatever you <laughs> have. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so we came up with some sick burns, but none of them are I will miss this happy face. No. None of them are those codes. None of them are left. Ten. 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 We don't have a gold standard like that, but we do have some that I'm pretty proud of. So the first, speaking of one eyebrow and another, all of the faces that Wolf makes, and if not for hope, when he's like, uh, and he's like, uh, and he's like, uh, all of that. <laughs> Great. Silent burn. It's a really particular kind of burn. The second one, also from If Not For Hope, when they're all standing around looking at the diamonds and Billy Boyd and Wolf are sizing each other up and then the door opens and Lord John Gray just walks in. Incredibly sick burn. Just entering. <laughs> it's true. Hello, I'm here. Hi. And everyone's like, ugh, that stings. You can all go home now. The next is when Jamie and Wien are trying to just give Get- the land away and Have everyone is like land. nah see ya and they just leave <laughs> no 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 that's pretty sick I don't need that land and the last one is us saying hope a zillion times <laughs> <laughs> they did say hope way too many times they in that did. episode they did it was bad I feel like that was a sick burn yeah okay all the faces that Wolf makes 16 that's pretty good Lord John Gray entering and destroying 5 mm, times 10 50 <laughs> All the farmers being like, nah, two. That's fair. And us saying hope a million times, eight. You know what? That makes sense because it's infinity. (laughs) But I still think 50 trumps eight, even if eight is infinity. For sure. I mean, it was a sick burn. Just his general demeanor. You're yeah. dead. You have to be dead. A, like a level up of a sick burn if you if the burn is just that you exist. <laughs> it's like, hello. And everyone is like, Damn, Damn it! Oh god, that hurts. Yes. Oh, I feel so inadequate. Why is he so hot? Why I I mean I would marry that. I would marry that. Yeah. All right, and I never put anything down for best episode. I think it's gonna be towards the end of the season for me. Mmm. The thing is, I don't know. I had qualms with pretty much every episode, mm-hmm. but not as many qualms that I that I wanted like, to kill myself. Most like the of my end of qualms season three. were smaller, and the highs were higher. But I don't know that there was one episode as mm-hmm. good as the best of season three. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the episodes were more consistently kind of inconsistent. I kind of I. As far as the beginning of the season goes, I really did like the episode uh, Savages where Claire was by herself in the cabin. I really liked that episode. Yeah. Um, I also really liked Providence, even though the ending was dumb. I, I just like seeing Richard do his thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, it was a good season. I'm just realizing that we snubbed poor old Ed Spielers. Ed Spielers, you know what? I, I'm pissed at Ed Spielers. Why? Because... He's going to come back, and we're going to have to deal with his shit more. I, I, Julie, I swear to God, I felt like I was setting you up for a punchline because I was certain you were going to say, because he's so hot. <laughs> well, it's I really disconcerting. I don't, I don't think, I think he's attractive. I don't think I find him as hot as you do. I, I want to be clear. I don't find the character hot. Oh, no, 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 no. I know. The actor. I get but it. He's got that, like, mm, football thug thing. He's got, like, a teenage <laughs> dirtbag situation yeah, going on. Yeah, he's got, like... Me and some mates are going to go to the <laughs> pub, make a bunch of bad decisions. You're going to write some great songs about it. Someone's going to get headbutt. 
Yeah. Yeah. He's very like, hello from the other side <laughs> for me. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is I have an Adele fantasy about Ed Spielers. <laughs> Which I'm fine with, because I also have an Ed Spielers fantasy about Adele. <laughs> where she has an evil version of herself? No, or just where, like, I get to have sex with both of them. Oh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, I right. guess. I'm kind of into I'm that. learning some things about myself in this moment. <laughs> All um, right. So, I don't know. Let's, uh, actually, let's open this up. What do y'all think was the best episode this season? And also, we skipped an incredibly shocking moment. We're going to give this its own category. We're about to add a category. Okay. Okay. But first... Best episode this season. Anybody? I am only halfway through, but I'm with Julie that the Fraser's Ridge episode where Claire's by herself with the Germans. Yeah. And Jamie yeah. and, and yeah. Wynn are in town. I just thought that one was really well paced, and also that was the return of Murtaugh. Oh, yeah. So, like, all that was yeah. in. And yeah. That, that German yeah. guy was good. Yeah. He was yeah. good. Mm-hmm. He was good. Yeah. yeah. So, I think that was probably my favorite crafted episode, and I think that one might have been written by a woman. A woman, you said? What? Impossible. They can't read. <laughs> All right. All right. The final category we're going to do, unless y'all have suggestions. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to call this category, We Deserve This. Excellent. All right. Here, I can put, like, so many things in there. We're going to come up with our nominees for We Deserve This. First. Another bottle of wine after work. Well, yes. Okay. First. When Jocasta throws a glass of whiskey in Murtaugh's face. We did deserve that. We deserved that. Mm-hmm. Second, <laughs> when it cuts to Jocasta standing in a shift, staring out the window with the sun glistening on her beautiful hair. We deserved that. She's shift, beautiful. We that. It was like a Renaissance painting. Next, when she turns <laughs> with sex glow with a bang over. Yeah. <laughs> to the bed and beholds Murta sprawled out, one leg propped up like he's Tom Selleck on a fur rug. <laughs> Burt Reynolds, Burt Reynolds. What did I say? Tom Selleck. Uh, but yeah. the point is the point is made. Very similar. Both very hairy, both very 70s, both mustachioed. It could work. Fourth, we deserve this. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> she just typed Burt Reynolds. When he says, come back to bed, and there's some suggestion of breakfast and second breakfast, and then he bites her on the shoulder. Woof. <laughs> yeah, we deserve that. Fifth nominee, when after seeing that, we went back to check both in the live stream and in the Slack and on Twitter and probably in letters being mailed to my home to see how excited people were to see us see that happen. Yes, people were thrilled. Well, I... I were. It was like they shipped us and that moment. I definitely stood up. I mean, I stood up off the couch. There was probably like the touchdown symbol. I, I always do that. I don't know if I can, I just watched football for too long. But I was just like, oh, yes! Like, it was good. Yep. And uh, sixth, when I got to look out and look at Amelia going like this. What? <laughs> yes! <laughs> right? And then let me say, Scotty's got a little, oh, yes! <laughs> and she hasn't seen it yet. Uh, I will say that Jen looked unsurprised. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I was most well. I wasn't really surprised that they did it because you could tell that there was a little bit of like boop 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 from when they first met each other. You know what I'm talking about? Boop boop boop. It's a technical term. <laughs> um, but I was really surprised at how fucking smoking hot Duncan Lacroix is. Like, I know he's hot. Like, I know he's hot. Uh, but like the whole like body shot, I was not expecting. Um, for him to flood my basement, which he totally did. <laughs> I was never expecting that. So thank you, Duncan LaCroix. Thank you, Pample Moose. We Can love I you. recommend a good Duncan LaCroix, Ed Spieler's Adele fantasy? It really, yeah. I've got it right now. Ed Spieler's Duncan LaCroix meet at an Adele concert while she's singing Hello. They see each other across the room and slowly make their way towards each other. And right before Ed Spielers touches his finger to Duncan LaCroix's lips to keep him from talking, blackout. 
That's good. All right, I want to try. Okay. So Adele is singing <laughs> Rolling in the Deep. Yes. And 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 they're both just like standing there. They're just they're let's say they're at an Outlander fan meetup. Oh god. And they're uh, bored as hell. <gasps> what will they do? Uh <laughs> They all of a sudden they hear dunk 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 dunk. There's a fire <laughs> burning in my heart, a fever. Right, and then they slowly turn to each other, and they and they lock eyes, and then Duncan Lacroix pulls out his phone and he texts me, <laughs> <laughs> and it says broom closet five minutes. So I'm like great, and and still should have had it. Oh, Right, and I'm walking through the um, let's just say the convention, the Donald E. Stevens Convention <laughs> Center, and I've got to get on an elevator to get to this particular broom closet. And the elevator doors open, and there's David Tennant. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. his TARDIS brought him into the middle of your fantasy. Yeah, well, as it often does. It often does. Yeah, yeah it's that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the what can I say? It's the sonic screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> Vibrates at a certain frequency. You know what I'm saying? Me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's got that hair. Oh, and uh, and he's gonna be in Good Omens. He's gonna be in the oh, yeah? meditation of Good Omens. Yeah. And that like that he's rocking that sleazy demon thing in a way that's not comfortable for me. <laughs> uh, and is it scratching an Ed, scratching an Ed Spieler like dirty dude that this you just want to do it with? Separate category. Uh, yeah. That's not like well, I'm going to date you for two weeks and it's going to be a terrible idea because you're just going to be a hot mess, but, man, the sex is going to be fun. That's the Ed Spieler's category. This is, like, immortal deity, <laughs> and I have to choose between life and eternal damnation, but maybe being bad never felt this good? You might, you know? Maybe I'd make that decision. Uh, and Who I knows? have to say, it's a complicated time for me to be thinking about that elevator that I may have thought about from time to time. <laughs> Um, because I think he's going to be at TCA's. Ooh. <laughs> he was at, he live streamed in from the last one, but this time he might actually be there. Oh my God. That's crazy. Um, All right, so you might see him. <laughs> Ooh. Well, guys, I think you pretty wait, cool. Wait, Whatever. You I met be? Angela Bassett. I was cool when I met Angela Bassett. You could be on an elevator with David Tennant. Oh yeah. Like, like that could real actually happen. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the last time I was here, I, I was on an get elevator text. with the guy from heart to heart. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. Uh, was it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah it was. Anyway, um, this never leaves this room. <laughs> this never leaves this room. <laughs> she said it to a microphone. <laughs> Into the internet. To people who all have phones on them. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, so what, what do we deserve most? I mean, what we deserve, what we deserve is Myrta really sticking it to old yeah, Joe Yeah, maybe I would have... That would have been interesting, but they're you know not going to go that deserve? far with them. You know what else we deserve? Here's what we deserve. We deserve Jamie being like, what the what? And yeah. looking at, that was a really good. <laughs> what? This season was disappointingly light on jokes, I will say. Yes. And that was a good one. It Where was he cute. was like, excuse me? Uh, we are going to have to circle back to that. That's Claire gonna, did we got to put that in the parking Let me speak Kevin Lambert language. We're going to have to put that in the parking lot. We're going to circle back. We'll revisit at a more fortuitous time. Yes. Yeah. Um, Does Kevin know synergy, the word fortuitous? Six Sigma. Um, Work hard, play hard. <laughs> Is that good, Kevin? I believe in operational excellence. Uh, <laughs> he believes in operational excellence, y'all. Speaking okay. of operational excellence, let's shut this motherfucker down so I can get some more... Yeah. Go juice. Uh, does anybody have questions or things you would like us to comment on in any way about this here season of Outlander that we just finished? Knowing we've got Dude Lander ahead. Dude Lander's coming so soon. A few Favorite weeks. parts? Yes. The amazing, like, flames behind them regulator scene where they all just <laughs> fall into formation with yes. Fergus. And the oh, it's like, so coming good. Out. <laughs> yeah. Jo- I mean, it's a great shot. Him mm-hmm. jumping. The, this guy, film nerd, was like, ooh! <laughs> Jumping right into the frame. Also letting Caesar Domboy go back to being Caesar Damboy. Boy. Very nice. Mm-hmm. The whole thing. And then when the twin of that moment, when uh, when Granoli just whips, whips that the big cloth tar bomb and like, takes off. Woo! Yeah! That is what, that is the content I crave! <laughs> That's what we deserve. Very good. That is absolutely what we deserve. Other favorite moments. 
That, that's, that's it. That was, good. And that was you a know really what? good one, though. I think that if this season had been season three, we probably would have been harder on it. Yeah. yeah. But because we were all treated to season three beforehand, I think that our expectations were tempered. And uh, we just kind of let it wash over us. You know, I will say, I had an actually, this isn't sarcastic, an actually nice conversation with a lady on the internet. What? <laughs> Where she was like, you know, I get what you're saying about him diving into the water. Oh, God. But come on. That's what I'm here for. Can't you just <laughs> let me have this one? <laughs> I was like, yes. Yes, I can. Please. I'm glad that I found you the person that that was made for. That is great. I'm so glad. Like, sincerely, I prefer my outlandish fantasy. Not, oh, God. I didn't mean that. You just said that. You said it. I prefer my uh, outsize my ridiculous fantasy in the form of Jamie fighting a bear with the, the aid of a fish. <laughs> but, <laughs> right. oh, but still, she's the, I mean, she's his second, essentially. Right? Yeah. And, she get, and then the fish is in the mix, and everybody kind of stinks, and then they all tell jokes about, that's what I want. But I will, I will accept that other people may want their ridiculous fantasy in the form of... <laughs> That's yeah. the uh, underwater music you from know Super what? Mario Bros. I would have liked it. <laughs> that was a deep cut. I would have liked it a hundred percent more if they had shot it like an Esther Williams ballet movie <laughs> yes. from above, and you see Jamie like dude, and, and then, then, then there's like three bitches with like yellow and red swimsuits on, like maybe but then when they turn maybe this way, it's one in. thing, and turn this way, it's another thing. Yeah. Yes. 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 Totally. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, speaking of Thirty Rock, I forgot that when Kenneth sees the ocean for the first time, he goes, "Oh my!" <laughs> and then Frank goes, that's just a pile of diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, 30 Rock hasn't necessarily aged all that well. But really? some part yeah. of it has aged a lot. Yeah. Okay. There are a lot of, like, really unfortunate jokes about gender assignment. Oh, bummer. Um, that are kind of a bummer. And there are, like, it's funny, like, half the Cosby jokes are like, you were way ahead of the game, 30 Rock. And half the Cosby jokes are like... But I thought you were ahead of the game. Uh, uh -huh. It's weird. Okay. It's strange. Anyway. All right. Well, that's all we got for now. Dude Lander's coming up in what? Three weeks? 16th? Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to... Two weeks. Two weeks. Hopefully sneak in an episode while I'm, go while I'm gone. <laughs> riding the elevator constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. I found out that my hotel room has a, a private balcony overlooking the pool. <laughs> Y'all, this hotel they have us staying at is nutso. Mm -hmm. It's, I checked just to see like what I would be paying if it wasn't this, the media rate for the press tour. Um, and some of the nights it was like $233. And no. some of the nights it was like $847. What like, the fuck? I know. So, I mean, I, that's more than my uh, mortgage per month. They're cleaning out my mini bar so that I don't have one drink, which is what it's going to take now. Um, and then eat all the chips ahoy and have a $90 <laughs> bill. So that's good. <laughs> It'll be fine. Anyway, um, we're hoping that they will do one episode while I'm gone. But we'll see. Depends on their schedules. I, we're thinking about doing an episode where I make... Janine tell us all about what happens in seasons one through three because he's never actually watched them. Because I'm a show watcher now, so right. like we want yeah. Yeah. we want Janine to. It's something that it's a, a game that Julie plays with our friend Brooke and others called Maria Solved, where you ask somebody to describe the plot of a famous movie they've never seen. I did it once. Mine was The Breakfast Club before I had seen The Breakfast Club. <laughs> Take it, save it for the bus, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. That was my favorite. Kevin over there told me, oh, well, the principal, he has a catchphrase. What is it? And the whole point is you have to say everything with great confidence. And I said with, like, bone-deep confidence, save it for the bus, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly, That's exactly what he said. It. So we are thinking that we might have Janine Maria Solve um, and what the fuck? We might as well. He hasn't seen every episode in season four. You might as well throw all season four on there. Might I think. Well, yeah. well, I think he's seen more of season four. You can try and you can throw it in there if you want. But I think one through three, we have enough content for you to be able to fucking. 
Uh, yeah. Wreck that shit. So those of you who absolutely are here for the Janine content, and by the way, I want to make one thing really clear. I was not saying, I was not saying that people do not listen to the show for Janine. I was saying that Janine was what not thing? saying that people listen to the show for Janine. Because that would mortify Aaron if, I'm sorry, Janine, yeah, he's, he's if that. people thought that he was like, well, I know why people are here for this Outlander podcast, and it's me. <laughs> Look at that face. Aww. That's not a fa- that face. No. So I, I'm sure. I, I know that some of you follow Aaron on Instagram. What? I know that you may occasionally say hello. I'm absolutely sure that there are Janine thirst traps. Oh fuck yeah. Wait, what? Dude, there are, there are people who are like they, they call you the Silver Fox now. Is that it? I've seen it. Is that Wait, really true? I have seen really? it. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm See? So good. <laughs> Somebody on our Psych channel called him Janine the Silver Fox. Well, well, I mean, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Back it up, chump. There are worse ways to meet someone. That's exactly. true. That's, That's true. absolutely true. The internet. <laughs> oh, yeah. I take it all back. The internet is wonderful. <laughs> Honey, we met through Neil. Thomas <laughs> <laughs> was like, what the fuck, man? Wait, what's worse than the internet? Neil. Neil. <laughs> Neil or the internet. Both of them give me everything that I want, but also make me mad all the time. <laughs> Julie, I've got some things to sort out. Let me ask you a question. I need more go juice. <laughs> Have you ever put your fingers up the internet's butt? I've never put my fingers up Neil's butt. Wow. Hashtag woman's secret. <laughs> He's not into it. It's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so this question, the premise of this question is ruined from the beginning. <laughs> don't ask me these questions if you don't want to hear an honest answer. I don't lie. <laughs> we run out of content. <laughs> That's We're it. We're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I, I to... just lied. I did stick my finger up his butt to see if there was a jewel up there. <laughs> you gotta check. Nature's <laughs> trunk is always open. Oh. While I pull up our list of patrons, oh. because I haven't done that yet, um, I, wa- I have one more request I for love you all guys. of you. I would like to know, please, for the panel, <laughs> uh, what meat puns we missed, because I know we missed some. Anybody? Something about kielbasa. Kielbasa. kielbasa we that's mentioned good. a sausage, but kielbasa is more specific and therefore funnier. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was something I thought about. Was it? Um, oh, I was gonna make a pun about medium and then rare. I, but if I can, I can't remember. I think there was one about kebab we could have done. Kebab. Sure. Some kebabs. Kebab and up and down. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm right there, y'all. I'm always there for a meat pun. Wiener. I don't think we ever actually said wiener. <laughs> what? That's I, not love, possible. I love the word wiener. Just say it, everybody. Wiener. 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 It's wiener. fun. Wiener. Wiener. Why won't it let me look at my stupid number of patrons? Not the patrons, the thing. Would you? Uh, you're, here? you're logged in here? Yeah. Okay, guys, you're just going to see me type for a minute. Uh, talk about yourselves. <laughs> hey, somebody, somebody get me some hey go juice. How's everybody doing? Julie, entertain the people. I'm okay, busy. wait a minute. So, hold on. Can I move or not? I'm going to stay right here just like it was to oh, the stand. Down for maintenance. Okay. Oh, no, well, never here mind. Here we go. This is what we're going to do. Uh, I want to thank um, Michelle. Michelle. Yay! Um, I want to thank Tom, who just brought me my go juice. Yeah. I want to thank you. Uh, let's see. Well, Kiki, the wise. The wise. <laughs> um, mom. Kathleen Moniz. Viv Pickles. Viv Pickles. Pickles. Who's actually in attendance um, today. Uh, Ida with an I. Jen Lander Drunklin. Friday Payton. Friday Payton. Um, Flourish Root. Jenna Polkowski. Uh, Beth Locke. Anne Gavin. Ann Gibson. <laughs> Catherine Marshall Eastman. <gasps> what? She just remembered that. Up top, you never have to scroll out again. Um, 
No, I'm always going to have to scroll, have scroll out. out. Uh, Kara Marlowe, Marlo, Dr. J, thank you, always teaching us fundamentals. Um, Amanda Newton, Trish McCrary, Trish Trish Tara Lucchino. Oh, my um, God. Yeah, Chantel da- Davis. I don't think it's, da- is it Davis? No. no. There is Chantel, a Chantel Davis, but I don't know both if she's. Both of the Chantels. The Chantels, thank you. <laughs> Nicole, Cold? Nicole, no, honey. <laughs> and also not Tom Mormon. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Not Scotty Caldwell. Not Amelia <laughs> Buzzle. Just kidding. Um, who else? I can't. There's got to be somebody else. Um, uh, Katie Kirshner. Katie Kirshner. Yes. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, girl, you good. Uh, 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 President Theodore Roosevelt, uh, um, Valentina, mm-hmm. um, Prince, Prince, and mm-hmm. Aaron Yitzi. Aaron Yitzi, thank you. Um, I already said Beth Locke. These are good calls. Molly, Molly Layton. Molly Layton. Molly Layton. Mm-hmm. Heather Moore. Amanda Newton. I said Amanda Newton. I said Ida with an I. Yo, guys, we're really doing a really good through. job. Really we're actually really doing it. Uh, 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 viewers like you, LeVar Burton, Fred <laughs> yes. Rogers, Oprah Winfrey. The letter O. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Cookie Monster. Mm-hmm. The cookies belonging to Cookie Monster. Oscar the Grouch, the trash can Oscar the Grouch lives in. Um, blue, but not Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Because fuck that guy. <laughs> no, I feel bad for that guy. Um, the Friends, but not Barney. Um, <laughs> Barney Fife, Barney Rubble. Bar- <laughs> Barney's, the department store. Um, uh, uh, Barney from The Simpsons. Um, oh, God, I wish I would burped right then. <laughs> <laughs> but no more mouth sounds. Um, Rachel nope. Bloom. Um, yeah. That's nice. Um, let's see. Russian Doll now streaming on Netflix. Um, a bra I recently bought from Torrid that functions like it has an underwire but doesn't actually. Ooh. It's extremely, I will, it's extremely comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I will slack it. Um, Dominic Suzanne Mayer. Yay. Um, uh, Boots that don't leak. Um, oh, sorry. Vibrators. Yay! Um, people who store jewels in their buttholes. <laughs> Thank God. Um, this section of Duncan LaCroix's torso. <laughs> um, voting. Yeah. Uh, orgasms. I guess I already yeah. said vibrator. Uh, and salted chocolate chip Tahini cookie. Tahini cookies with crunchy salt on top. Those are really yeah. good. Please uh, have one. And Claire Feeney, who hooked us up with our sound show no, today. No, Aaron did, but Claire offered, <laughs> and it ended up not happening because the, the equipment was further away. Well, but she offered. <laughs> she offered. It's okay. She yeah. offered, and that was very kind. Uh, Miller Lite, but Fuck no you. one who actually works with or owns Miller Lite. So no, your beer's delicious. The workers of Miller Lite. The Cheers. people yeah. who put the fine Pilsner in the can, um, and none of their bosses. Yeah. <laughs> um, whoever does marketing for Taco Bell, James Marsden's cheekbones, Damian Lillard's cheekbones. Mahershala Ali. Mahershala Speaking Ali's cheekbones, cheekbones. Tilda Swinton's cheekbones. Lupita Nyong'o's cheekbones. This has been a blast. And, <laughs> and, wh- and whoever it is that started calling Janina Silver Fox. Yay! Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Please uh, drink more and tip Michelle outlandishly. Oh, God! No! No! <laughs> uh, bye! Bye! bye.